hi hi guys how are you doing my name is Steve welcome back and uh, thank you for subscribing to our channel and coming back now and then to watching our videos we really appreciate so much today to Pochomoko in the Africa there's a very big roundabout here that's uh, with an empty field that's where we are uh, I'm waiting for my guest to come and uh, say a word or we have a chat with him now just to remind you you guys uh, we are introducing you to stories of people who have a certain career they started a certain career in their uh, education life but today they change that line to another line so like uh, for example you started education you are a teacher by profession but you, today you don't do that profession you do something different that's what we are bringing to you guys and uh, we hope the stories that we bring to you will inspire you and uh, that we encourage you in your whatever you are doing so that keep going on my channel so don't give up on what you are doing just give it some time give it some energy give it some support and it will stand out and it will become whatever you want it to be so thank you very much let's wait for him yes, to join us thank you hey guys welcome back video we are going to leo na mesha africa na today we are going to have more information about you okay we are going to leo can you introduce yourself to us okay it's a great pleasure first of all thank you for inviting me to conquer tv Welcome. Thank you. My name is Peter Njoguna. I hail from Nakuru County. That's where I was basically born. And uh, currently I'm living at uh, Bika. I do some hustles there. And I believe in the course of interaction, we have so many things we are going to learn from each other. And you are going to learn from me. And uh, that is my great pleasure. Wow, wow, wow. So thank you very much for honoring our invitation yes. <coughs> and coming back to our channel. Yes, okay. thank you. Now, tell us, uh, how, where did you educate from? Uriada Shulewapi, Kasome Anini, yes, primary, secondary, college, yeah. Okay, to begin with, my life uh, uh, of schooling has been that tough because uh, I have been, I have gone for several, in several schools, uh, that is from primary school to high school. Uh, first of all, Niliazia Kidata Chakwanza, Nikiwa Shure Yukwe Naitua Logonaut. Logonaut. Logonaut Secondary School. Logonaut Secondary School. Uh, primary School. Logonaut Primary School. Yeah, primary School. Oh, Udianza, oh Kidata Chakwanza. Yeah. Oh, I was thinking that one is uh, Secondary School. Okay. Oh, class, class, yeah, that's <laughs> class one. Yeah, class one. Uh -huh. So, Niliazia Logonaut Primary School, here we call in Naivasha, consistency. Uh, where we have Mount Logonaut. Up on the one we saw here, we can see class one and class two. We talk about the Kafanua transfer after our cut to be migrate to another place. So, we can see from class two to class eight now. Then nilipomaliza primary school nikaenda nilika kitu mwaka moja before I join secondary school nikaenda shule ilikuwa inaitwa Munyo Secondary School iko in Naivasha constituency but uh, Naivasha East one so hapo nilisoma tu hiyo wakati tulikuwa na only uh, three teachers in the school the teachers only. Oh, the teachers only. Head teacher. Kukuwa na head na principal. Kukuwa na alafu wa rimuwa So, <laughs> so <laughs> wakati niliona hapo maisha si mzuli vire, mm -hmm. nikafanya transfer. But mm -hmm. mimi niligia that school, sikuwa ni metahili by then. Uh, yeah. uh -huh. So, sikuwa ni metahili by then. So, we are talking of secondary school now. We are talking of secondary school. Mm -hmm. So wakati nili wakati nilikuwa naendelea na masomo mm -hmm. nika transfer to another school mm -hmm. 
because Liona, that is not, not the best place I need to complete to complete the my education at that place. Mm -hmm. So ni kachijiwa ni kapele kwa Kiambogo. Kiambogo secondary school. Kiambogo high school. Mm -hmm. Nikuwa high school by then. Mm -hmm. So huko niko nilisoma mpaka nikaenda nikamalizia form 4 huko. Mm -hmm. Nilimaliza back in the year 2010. That was my first when I did my first KCSE. Uh -huh. Then because I have done I did 3 KCSE. 3 KCSE. 3 KCSE. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. camera. Uh, that, that is in the year in the year 2010 nikapata d plus so nilipopata d plus nikaona this is not me so nikarudi shule wakati huo nilikuwa nafanya mjengo huko narok sasa nikaenda nikafanya nikarudia form 3 nikarudi ile shule nilikuwa nimesomea ya kwanza nilikuwa inaitwa munyo so huko nirudi form 3 nikasoma um, form 3 na form 4 nikatoka na b minus mm -hmm. ya 59 points nikaona bado hii kwa sababu wazazi wangu walikuwa na shida mzazi wangu alikuwa na shida because niko na mzazi mmoja so wakati niliona hataweza kunilipia parallel university nikarudi nika, nika, nikarudia tena with b minus that is in the year 2013 now in the year 2013, hapo dipo nilipata B, stand, that is B print. Nilipo maliza sasa ndio nikaitua Mranga University of Technology. Uh, where I pursued Bachelor of Commerce. I majored in Finance and also I did CPA. I have done CPA up to Section 2. And um, that is me yeah, about the history of that's my education. education. Yes, three KCSEs. Three KCSEs. Well, that's uh, <coughs> so after school, yeah, after um, uh, after the college, what did you do? What was your what what was your first hustle? Um, my first hustle, I started hustling when I was maybe uh, after finishing the high school. That's when I was first employed in the school. That is the school that I finished later. I graduated with B B B. B stand, B stand, yeah. Ah, nikajiruwa uko kama peer teacher. Nikuwa nafunza chemistry and also mathematics. And also I was lab technician. So, niliazia hasu nikuwa bado high school. After kumariza high school. Immediately after high school. Immediately after high school. Yeah. Then, nikuwa in the university. After, in a long vacation, in second year. Nilipata badu kufunza mwarimu tena. Mwarimu tena. Nikuwa nafunza biology form 1 and 2. Na nilikuwa nafunza tena chemistry from form 1 to form 4. That is in Kiambu. Shula ilikuwa inaitua Mirangi. I know some of the viewers, they are going to comment, to leave a comment in this video. Because I believe they are going to watch what the right history. Yeah. Okay, after that, since after graduation, I started to apply for jobs, but it was so unfortunate. What year did you graduate? I graduated in the year 2018. Oh, 20. That is in August. August 2018. So right now you have three years. Yes, I have three years after graduating. After graduating. Okay. <coughs> yes. So after graduation. Uh, ile pesa nilipewa ya graduation mimi I decided because I feel that business kwa sawa so nikaanza business ya kuuza trench coat ya kuuza blazers so nilienda huko Chuka University hapo ndipo nilikuwa na uzia students students blazers wait, uh, wait how did you come from you came from Nakuru you came to Moranga University Yes. And then you are going to sell blazers in uh, Chuka. Yes, in Chuka. Who gave you that uh, connection? Okay, I had a friend there. So, when you go to connect in a year, Lakini, yeah, yeah, I go and I saw me a uko. I go and I talk in. So, to come again, I to kind of to calend Mumba Pamoja. Yeah, yeah, you are a student. Lakini, me, 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 you are in the Marisa and the graduate. So, that's when we started to do hassles together. Yeah, yeah, Kisoma and me, 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 me
so after that I have done several businesses. After hiyo sasa ya brazers. Hiyo ikaenda hivyo ikaenda chini kidogo. I decided to start selling juice. Ya juice. Eh nikafugua juice vendor. Huko bado tu huko chuka. Hapo karibu na university. So tukauza tukiwa sasa tukashikana na jamaa mwingine sasa alikuwa anaitwa Omato. Sasa hapo tuko tukasukumana na business ya juice. Sasa wakati niliona hasa imekuwa sasa tough sana kwangu. Nikaona sasa nirudi nitafute another hustle. So na bado at that time nilikuwa na apply jobs. So nilito, nikatoka Chuka nikakuja Indika. That is in the year 2019 February hii. So nikitukaanza hasa with another friend sasa. Mwingine alikuwa ameajiriwa anaitwa Raban. Alikuwa ameajiriwa Maguna. Maguna supermarket. Maguna ado supermarket. Eh. Sijui kama unaijua. Yeye anaielewa kabisa. Eh. So alikuwa ameajiriwa Embu. Mm-hmm. akakuja kunitembelea chuka tukakaa naye kidogo then sasa dia tukahamia Dika in 2019 tukafanya hustle tukafanya hustle sasa hustle. that hustle tulikuwa tunafanya hustle za mjengo i remember sometimes hata tulikuwa tulikaa for almost 3 three, <laughs> 3 months mm-hmm. ukienda kwa mjengo unachunjwa kwa sababu wewe ni mgeni haya <laughs> they don't like uh, the, like new faces Unajua they, they did they do some selection mm-hmm. according to the people they know. Oh. But because you are you are not familiar with them. Uh-huh. You are just diselected. You know we also are think eh. Kazi ya mjengo ni obvious sana ukienda tu kwa mjengo utapewa kwanza kama umefika mapema. Yeah. We always we always think at the obvious utapata hiyo job ukienda hapo kwa mjengo. So you need to even to have connected with uh, people who are around there. Eh hey, you must be connected. The way the professional jobs maybe you <laughs> naona bado kuna connection hata kwa mjengo lazima kuna okay, connection, connection. Yeah. so kila mahali ni connection eh yeah, kila mahali ni connection uh-huh. so after kukaa kwa munda sasa uh, nilikuwa na application nilikuwa nime make on march kwa asati na agrobet mm-hmm. nikiwa desperate hivi nikatoka kwa nyumba nikaenda dika town mm-hmm. mahali inaitwa christina garden mm-hmm. nikaenda nikajiekelea hapo kidogo mm-hmm kashido hoya we like the gym so i started i had the confidence now nikasema mimi nitaenda kwa zile gari zote kubwa niende ninapata wenye sasa wapo kwa hizo gari na uuza kazi hizi gari kubwa nikasema hivi eh gari zenye zimesimama mahali so nikaenda place inaitwa uhuru hive hapo nikapata dakika vika kama nairobi eh vika vika nikaenda nikapata nikapata jamaa alikuwa amekaa kwa kwa Dabu Kebi. Mm-hmm. So hapo ndipo nilienda nika approach mmoja mm-hmm. akiwa kwa dilisha mm-hmm. nikamwambia mimi natafuta kazi. Mm-hmm. Kupe mwenye niliuliza mm-hmm. alikuwa mkubwa wa Agrovet. Ai 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 ai. Ile Agrovet ulikuwa unafanya kazi. Ile Agrovet sasa a a mm-hmm. sasa ni, mwenye niliuliza mm-hmm. alikuwa mwenye agrovet sasa kuna agrovet ilikuwa hapo karibu oh kuna agrovet just nearby eh yeah, just nearby uh-huh. so i decided to ask these persons for job uh-huh. then that boss now akanielekeza kwa a certain a certain lady uh-huh. mwenye alikuwa in that agrovet uh-huh. naitwa alpha so uh-huh. alpha so alpha so alpha so yeah uh-huh. so nikaenda uh-huh akaniambia niache karatasi zangu hapo. Uh-huh. So wakati niliacha karatasi zangu hapo, uh-huh. nilika kwa sababu it was on March. Uh-huh. there. Ilikuwa on March. Uh-huh. So uh, ba, ba, il, uh, wakati aliniambia niache karatasi, uh-huh. nikaacha, uh-huh. alafu nika, nikarudi sasa mahali nilikuwa naishi kikanjo. Uh-huh. So uh, nikakawia nikakawia kitu juu. Uh-huh. Dio niliitwa yoni niliitwa kwa hiyo kazi sasa uh-huh. nikaona simu on wednesday akanipigia simu uh-huh. akaniambia niende nifanye kazi ya account clerk uh-huh. so nilipoenda nikajia veil for interview akaniambia account clerk imepata mtu mwingine but nitala nitaajiriwa kama stockkeeper uh-huh. so hapo nikafanya for one month uh-huh. 
kuifanya for one month mm-hmm. so count crack I'm a accountant crack account at crack alikuwa amenitia kwa simu kazi ya account at crack uh-huh. so um, wakati nilifika mm-hmm. akaniambia hiyo ya account crack mm-hmm. imepeanwa sasa mm-hmm. amepea mtu mwingine but yeah. the vacancy yenye iko mm-hmm. ni ya storekeeper yeah. kwa kuwa storekeeper sasa so nikakuwa storekeeper for one month uh-huh. then in that tukiwa huko mm-hmm. uh, tukapatana na a certain friend uh-huh alikuwa anaitwa James. Uh-huh. So uko, uko kwa mahali umekuwa storekeeper umekapatana na mtu ambaye anaitwa James. Eh hey, anaitwa James. Uh-huh. Sasa huyo ndiye alinuzia an idea ya forex. Forex, forex, forex trading. Eh hey. akaniambia yeye ana trade ki forex. Na penye anaiogopa. Hapana usiogope. It is a very good business. <laughs> Utanionyesha, mtakuonyesha. Uh-huh. Even my viewer, our viewers. Uh-huh. If somebody require that education of forex eh yeah. anaweza anaweza kuona kando anaweza niona kando mtapatiana namba so hapo ndipo tulifanya one month then tukaabiana tuache hiyo kazi mm-hmm. twende tufungue sawa mkiwa na James eh tukiwa na James mm-hmm. tuanzia consultant ya forex yeah, yeah. so hapo ndipo tukaanza mimi sasa siko najua yeye yeah, alikuwa anajua nikamwambia So what I will do mimi nitasoma kwa sababu mimi um, is easy, uh, easily learn. Mm. Uh, I was a teacher. So kupata that knowledge nitaipata haraka sana. Mm-hmm. So mimi nika tukaenda tukafugua na yeye mm-hmm. hapo azima sako. Mm-hmm. Kwa hapo dika. Mm-hmm. So tukafanya tukafanya for sasa yeye akitrade mm-hmm. na mimi nafunza students. So mimi nilikuwa nasoma na bado nafunza. Una, unasoma mahali umesoma yeah. then unaenda una transfer to the students eh yeah, naenda na transfer to the students <laughs> then na yeye anaonyesha the practical part of the, the part of the, of the forex yeah. trading yeah. Mm-hmm. so that's what we did so i take i took four months to run, to run. and also to teach, to teach at the same time it's on your fingertips you now it is on my fingertips i came to realize when you become a teacher yeah. you used to run as you give out yes yes you is the run you is the run for sure as you give out sure kini ukijisomea ukigoja exam uko hiyo kitu inakuwa ngumu inakuwa ngumu sana so tukaenda hivyo sasa hatukuwa tu ni agree on the terms of payment mm-hmm. so nikamuuliza what is my share mm. in this business in now. this business mm. and because we are we are you are even trading for other people tunawapatia commission ya yeah, interest of mm-hmm. the money that that person has invested mm-hmm. tunampea 20% every month mm-hmm. then by the end of the fifth month uh, the fifth month tunakurudishia the, the initial capital when you come back yeah so like uh, if i deposit a hard drive with you and then the interest that comes uh, every after, after the forex trading you will give me 20% of it yes after now five months you will turn the my 100 yes the principal amount now oh, okay okay yes so tu, wakati nilimuuliza what is my share uh-huh. yeye yeah, akakasirika yeah, uh, because mimi nilimwambia a student tulikuwa tunampuza na 35000 ah uh, eh uh, that was an amount of 3500 35000 aha 35000 uh-huh. so mimi nikamwambia at least awe anapata ananipea 40% kwa sababu mimi ndiye nafunza na mimi ndiye natafuta students na yeye anabaki na 60. Uh-huh. So akaenda hivyo aka aka disagree with my my ratio of uh-huh. contribution eh uh-huh. uh, my ratio of share. Uh-huh. So alipopinga hiyo sasa mimi nikaona sina otherwise. Uh, lazima sasa ni nijitoe ni jitoe sasa kwa sababu I'm not benefiting from that business eh? yeah. Because aku anani aku ananilipa na kama ni kutrade pesa yenye alikuwa na trade hapo anatia. So mimi obviously already nimeshapata knowledge na najua kutrade sasa. Mm. Nikaanza kutafuta my students. Mm-hmm. Sasa kwa hiyo utafunza na utrade bad eh eh na trade bad. <coughs> so that is that is about the forex. That is about forex. forex. Mm-hmm. Baadaye tulikuja tukaachana na yeye ile pesa alikuwa ametafuta sasa yeye akaenda kanunua rori. Mm. Akaniacha akakuacha hapo okay. yeah, akaniacha mimi nikihangaika uh-huh. but it was a very good business uh-huh. so from there i went back because siko na laptop ya ya ku train laptop is the best uh-huh. for training 
and also for giving confidence in this business. Yeah, now I have the laptop, I can trade and I can do it. And I also <laughs> train other people. Yeah. So that is that. So, kutoka hapo mimi kwa sababu siko na laptop, siko endelea kufunza tena. So you have you had to stop. Yeah, I had to stop. That is in the same same year 2019. Mm. So at allowed October hivi mm. I got a contract with Extra Solution. Mm -hmm. A contract. Yes. Mm -hmm. A contract with the Extra Solution. Mm. Extra Solution Limited. Whereby we do asset verification and asset tagging. Uh, we are given we are, we are being given ID and even right now because I'm still there. Mm -hmm. Tunafanyanga hiyo kazi ya asset verification, asset management, pre-audit mm. of various organizations. Yeah. Uh, ESL, that is Extra Solution Limited, mm. it is a contractor of EABL. Mm. I don't know whether you are familiar with that. EABL. Ni kampuni kubwa kwa ya. Ni kampuni kubwa. Eee, hata kutaja hapa. Eee, maazo wanafaa kukuhu, kutupatia kachai. Ukweli. Eee. So, that is that. And that's what I have. Uh, I also do some businesses. I, ha I have, I do sell electronics. Electronics, you yes. have a shop? Phone accessories, mm -hmm. not specifically a shop, mm -hmm. but because it is a contract here in ESL, mm -hmm. still wakati hakuna contract, mm -hmm. nafanya hii sasa haso ya kuza electronics. Yeah. yeah. So like uh, this one is not a permanent job. You go, go for a limited time, then you sort yourself in other ways. Right? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now, because I have had uh, kona experience kubwa, okay. nani miaka tatu tu, yeah, yeah, just three done. years and you have done a lot. Yes. So much a lot. Yes. Okay. What can you advise for, for school leavers who are living uh, maybe high school, who are maybe living university, expecting for a job? Yeah. But what advice can you give them? Okay. Me, what the advice that I can give them is that uh, they should not give up. It is not time to give up and you must focus on your dream and your vision because there are some people who are waiting to benefit from that dream and vision mm. so you should uh, be determined and focus in all ways try all all your ways but the option should not be giving up or quitting mm. because if you do so the vision and the the benefit the the, the, the benefit of the vision mm -hmm. It will not benefit that person. So you should not give up. You should not give up. You should not give up. Then the other way, the, the other thing I can say is that try different strategies. If the job uh, seeking fails, mm. then you can establish a very small business. Mm -hmm. Then you start growing that business yeah. using different ideas. It doesn't matter how much you have. For example, in that business of electronics, I started with 2000. 2000? Yes. What did you buy? I started buying screen guards, screen guards. Zasimu, uh -huh. earphones, uh -huh. then back covers, Zasimu, uh -huh. Nikanunua battery za radio, uh -huh. Nikanunua battery za simu, easy dog. Uh -huh. Then out of that, uh -huh. Nikaenda nime grow that business. Nime grow, nime grow. So easy I can, I can be able even to 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 sell in little mm -hmm. and also if somebody require maybe a big bunch a, a big bunch eh? I can refer that person or I can show that person where to get a wholesale yes. wholesale uh, a whole, at a wholesale wholesale prices yes wow that's yeah. great yes so you students uh, what when you memorize a shule don't do music at the If job seeking fails, start a small business. You can start as low as 2000. Even a thousand, I guess you can start a, yes. the business of selling my eyes. Yes, my eyes. They, they are not expensive. They are not expensive. Yeah. Like even the fruits. Yes. Even the fruits business, I see as many people do that, do that business. Yes. Yeah. It is possible. It's possible. Yeah. So, what do you think the government should do for those people who are? Who are clearly in school, like uh, the college. Okay, me, what I think, eh? the government should provide opportunities. For example, um, I told you that I do several things. Eh? Yeah. I got an opportunity online mm -hmm. 
of Ajira Digital. Mm -hmm. That is a platform whereby the young generation, yeah, they, are they are trained by the government. Yeah, yeah, they are trained by the that government. is the work of um, transcription, mm -hmm. email marketing, mm -hmm. account management. Mm -hmm. So I got myself trained. I was trained for two days online mm -hmm. and, I, and I had a mentorship of one man. So I also have the knowledge of uh, a working online. Working on. So let's say like uh, if you the contract expires and it's not renewed, yeah. you have something ready. You are now ready to do something else. I am ready to do something, something else. else. Ah, yes. Well, so great. you should have a variety of things to do. Mm. If the government is not is not providing opportunities, then you should provide opportunity for yourself. For yourself. But the best thing I can say is that. The government, if government create opportunities, no matter how the small the opportunity look like, mm -hmm. but that person who is young can grow him or, him or herself yeah. with that opportunities. Mm -hmm. So the opportunity may be, they can go for Ajira Digital, mm -hmm. then get, get trained, mm -hmm. and they start earning online. Your Ajira Digital, uh, is it being charged anything? It is not charged it's anything. Free. Yes. You just avail yourself. Yeah, you oh. just avail yourself. Okay. Yeah. So I think people should know that. Yes. Ajira Digital is not paid. Yes. You, are just, you just avail yourself yeah. and you get them some knowledge there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you are ready to do anything, uh, whatever you trained on, you are ready to do it. Yes. Yeah. You are ready to do it. Now, can I ask you, are you, really, are you happy with the job that you are doing right now? And is it related to the course that you did? That asset management and uh, asset management and verification? Yes. Yes. Uh, is it uh, related to what you did in campus? Okay, it is somehow related no. because that is about financial, financial services. Yeah, yeah. So it is related somehow. Though, nobody who is contented with the, <laughs> with the dream. Yeah. <laughs> Because it is said that if your dream is not scaring others, mm -hmm. or it is not scaring, it is not triggering you to wake up early, mm -hmm. you should dream again. You should dream again that will trigger you to wake up early. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I have not reached that phase mm -hmm. where I always dream to be. Mm -hmm. uh, but what I can say mm -hmm. is that the best thing is to have that focus on what you are aiming at. Because I know one day, uh, I believe, I believe that I have a very big business. So your dream is to be the boss himself. Yeah, to be the boss himself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In fact, to create opportunities for those people who are struggling with poverty, and uh, to, er to eradicate them from that abject poverty. Mm -hmm. Because I believe that it is said that your children cannot inherit from you, uh, from the job, mm -hmm. but they can inherit it from your business. So that uh, I believe that uh, with that mindset mm -hmm. of creating uh, an opportunity, opening business, it will create so many platforms for employing uh, so many youths mm -hmm. and also employing so many people who are going to be unemployed by them. Okay. So I'm not satisfied by what I'm doing mm -hmm. because I told you that this, this is a contractual job. Yeah, it's a contractual job. So it comes maybe once in a while. Then okay. I go back to the business of electronics. Okay, it's not a continuous uh, job. Yeah, it is not a continuous. So it comes and then you are called up. Yeah. Come, yeah. we need you at this period. Yes. And then when the job goes off, then you are back to your uh, main business. Okay, now I have yes. that. Point. Yes. Yeah. And at the same time, you are not paid when you are not working. So when you are off, you are off. You are off. There is no guaranteed salary. So it is about fixing things and uh, trying to find ways of surviving. Okay. Yeah. Now I would like you to explain, eh? okay. to market yourself, uh, how you can train someone to do forex trading because you have that, uh, uh, you have that idea and the uh, knowledge to do that. Okay. And uh, how much would you charge, where would you need, how would they contact you so that you can post? Okay, uh, because of that, this opportunity have been given. I would say that if you want to learn about the forex trading, because it is possible, and uh, don't say that this is a scam, it is not a scam, I will explain to you very well, very well. I told you I have trained 
some people's and their honey right now. So what I can say, and you have somebody who have got a role in that business. Yes. I trained somebody here at Wakaili, and uh, he's already Ani. There is another lady who is called Mothoni. She lives at Nakuru. She is, she's even a teacher right now. Wow. She's a teacher of forex trading. Yeah, she's a teacher of forex trading. So uh, through that, you can reach me through this number. That is 0718. 166-898 or 0771-236-463 That is my number. Right. I'm Jogona Mwangi. Uh, from Bika, you can meet uh, from, from Bika, you, uh, you can meet uh, the people in Bika. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Bika and it's in Veron and also in Alog. Uh, also in Alog. You yes. are mobile. Uh, yeah, I'm mobile. Okay. That is. Okay. Yeah. So thank you very much for, for, for coming and uh, sharing with us what you had. Yes. We really appreciate so much. Okay. Uh, thank you. And so may much. God bless you. Amen. Guys, remember to subscribe and share and even uh, comment. Give us more comments. If you have somebody who can uh, be of interview to us, we can, we can, we can, who, whom we can interview, please refer them to us. Number 8 0710-856-900. WhatsApp or even call, we shall respond with that yeah, with the immediate effect to that. So leo to Kwadika, Apa Jamoko, Kuna Kiwaja in a kwanga apa empty, apa to Kotumeka, you know uh kuna makere makere via magari, na via mangombe because in a little apa and then as keep Yeah, that is that uh, that's the location that we wear. So uh, let's see you in the, in the next video. And thank you very, thank you very much for watching. And uh, we value you so much. Thank, thank you so much. You.